Hello everyone and welcome back to Assassin's Creed the Ezio Collection. So where we left off, we just assassinated all the Templar targets in Tuscany as well as Jacopo di Pazzi. So we're back playing this again. We're going to go talk to Lorenzo in his little thing here and he's going to give us the uh, Florentine cape. Then we can go to Forley and it's going to be all nice and lovely. The Pazzi are dead. Every one of them. I must admit, I've never before believed I could desire the death of others so badly. Nor I. Ezio, thank you for the role you've played in keeping this dream of mine alive a little longer. L'onore è mio, signore. What will you do now, figliolo? There are still others I must hunt, signore. They are already digging their claws into the heart of Venezia. No. La bella Venezia. Then that is where your journey must take you, Ezio. Before you leave us, I have something for you. A gift. This cape identifies you as a friend of the Medici. As long as you wear it, the city guards will be more tolerant of your actions. But be warned, it will not grant you immunity from the law. Que la fortuna favorisca la tua lama. Hey, now we've got the the Medici cape. Can we grab Lorenzo? Oh, he's a fucking pro at combat there. But yeah, we've got the Medici cape, which is real nice. It's a nice little cape. We've got a bit of money. Now we need to just go to the key point, actually. Now we need to go to Forley. It's time. We, we're done in Florence. Our time in Florence is up. I, mean, I guess we'll be coming back here for the Bonfire of the Vanities, but our time in Venice as of right I mean our time in Florence as of right now has ended. Let's do the viewpoint. Wow 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 Um something we need to do as well Just drinking my drink there. Something we need to do as well is go to Monteregione because we've got a bunch of money. Oh, Jesus Christ. Thought we were going to die then. Shit. Oh, fuck's sake. I did get more medicine during, uh, between parts. Because I thought I might as well do that. Get a nice bit of medicine going. There's a codex page there, actually. Oh, it's around the other side of the wall. I can't be bothered to get it. Let's just go to the mission. I spend so much time dicking around in between missions. Oh, fuck, they keep falling over. Yeah, I spend so much time pissing around in between missions that the parts end up being really rushed towards the enemy. We'll go ahead and kill the fucking target in like five seconds. We're like, I'm going But, uh, you know, we're going to just get straight on with the mission. Because, to be quite fair, the transition between going to Venice and... I mean, going from Florence to Venice is so annoying you have to go through the, the, the mountains. Leonardo! Leonardo! It is Piace, Messer, but he is gone. Maestro Leonardo was commissioned by a Venetian noble to paint some portraits. He paid for the Maestro to move his entire workshop to Venezia. It's quite an opportunity. Grazie mille, friend. I'm just getting random messages from people. Okay, there we go. We can go to Monteriore now, and we'll have a bunch of money. Actually, we might even be able to finish upgrading the villa, or get very close to finishing. That'll be awesome. I know we've got we've got a few upgrades left. We've got a few. You know what? We probably could do it actually. We probably have enough to do it. Let's go see. Let's go check. Let's run. Cape not effective in this area. It looks cool though. I like the Medici cape. They always wear the, wear the respective capes in the right place because it's very useful. The Auditore cape gives you full notoriety in this game as well. It's weird. And then in Brotherhood, it gives you um, no notoriety in the whole of Rome, whereas the Borgia cape gives you full notoriety in Rome. Claudia, give me their money. Where is their money? 10k, boy. 10 fucking k. And now let's go speak with this lad. Salute, Sir Ezio. Shall we take a look at the list? We shall take a look at the list. And we've got a few renovations to go. Uh, the doctors, 
Taylor. Let's do the Taylors. And then we'll do the Dottore. We'll do the most cheap ones first, as I said. Uh, Art Merchant. Blacksmith, that's going to cost a lot. You know, do you want to use this rest money to go buy some more armor? I said that's what we were going to do. Let's use the rest of this money that we've got here to go buy some Helmschmed armor. How much did that go up by? I don't actually... I didn't read that. Did that come up? How much? I don't even fucking know. But yeah, Montero Junior is looking real nice. Wait, what does the villa look like? It's looking snazzy. It's looking snazzy. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, boy. The streets are cleaning up and everything. But let's uh, let's go to armor, metal, back in hell. Okay, let's go. Helmschmed Spalders. Oh, I'm not gonna have enough. Let's buy the van braces then. That's a shame. Well, we've got the Spalders now. That should be very nice. Montero Gioni's value has increased. The next lot of money we'll get will be a nice, healthy amount. And now we can fast travel to wherever we need to go, I guess. Which I suppose is Florence. Because we haven't even unlocked the mountains as an area to go to yet. So we'll go back go back to Florence. And then we'll see where the mountains are. Oh, God, that's a nice... I'm drinking some more Emerge again. Something I've noticed as well is... The Helmschmied armor, like you've got the, I don't even know how you say it, Helmschmied, whatever the fuck it is. Uh, the armor has the same pattern on it as the armor of Altair. Like the uh, the Van Brace has the same pattern as the uh, armor of Altair does, which is kind of cool. But I'm very happy uh, about our position in terms, oh for fuck's sake. You know, let's just let that, let's let that like build up for a bit, you know. Oh Jesus. Yeah, let's let's just let the the villa's money build up for a bit, you know. It doesn't matter. We can It's fine. Cuz then we'll have like 12,000 by the time we we'll have loads of money. Let's go climb this to the viewpoint. Apparently we can't climb that for some reason. That would be probably the easiest to, thing to climb ever. I could probably fucking climb those little grates there. And I don't climb. Come on, man. The fuck? I go up here. There you go. Oh, God, that was a dangerous fucking thing to do. Jesus Christ, why did I do that? Do that viewpoint. And then we can go ahead and go to the next mission, which is in the mountains of Venezia. La Bella Venezia. Oh, it's a codex page, though. I need it. Oh, fuck's sake. Let's get this codex page. Come on. Oh, there's a guy chasing me. Get away. Hello, lads. Oh, fuck. There's a load of guys on me now. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, they're all running away. There you go. You're fucked up. Oh, he's just using blades. Fuck it. Stab his eyes out. That's fucked up. I remember that one. It was so cool. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, fucking hell. That was a slow attack as well that he just did towards us. There you go. Slow attacks are so easy to deal with. There you go. Oh, I was just about to counter him then as well. There you go. Now let's get the codex page. Oh, it's close to us this time. That's what I want to see. Codex page is there. Ah, you found another one. How exciting. Let's go to Venice. Come on, lads. Let's run away from those annoying pricks because they just want to sing to us and play their shitty fucking loot. Fuck that. Jesus, the mission is so far away. I'm so sorry, my friend. But you're going to die. I just heard a twinkling. It's 
probably just a shitty feather or something. We don't need a feather. We're not getting the feathers. I'll get the feathers after I finish the Let's Play when I'm just kind of like finishing up doing 100% and all that. But we don't need the fucking feathers. Fuck the feathers. Okay, where do we have to go? We have to go down. Oh, shitty now. Okay, let's fast travel to there. Oh, we can't. Well, let's just... It'll probably be quicker if we just fast travel to this location and fast travel back to Florence, but closer to the, um... to the place we need to go to. Because these loading screens are obviously quick as fuck. I don't know, actually. They might be quicker. They might not be. There you go. Florence. There you go. Eastgate. Good and lovely and real nice. That's what that is. That's real nice. Punch. 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 Fucking hell. Here we go. We're right close to that shit now. Let's get on the horse to speed up the fucking process. Come on. Off the rim. We're losing ground. That's an impression of one of the guards from fucking um, Assassin's Creed 3. Off the rim. I need to finish my Assassin's Creed 3 Let's Play at some point, but the Ezio Collection. I'm just getting caught up in the Ezio Collection. Oi, no. More loading screens. Where's our cape gone? It's not nice. I do like the textures of this original cape. Oh god, I just burped. I do like the textures of this original cape, though. Like, that, they did a sweet job fixing that up. There you go. And there's Leonardo. Oh, shit. Get off the horse, Ezio. Leonardo. Leonardo. There you go. Ezio? What luck. I, um, ever run into a bit of trouble. <laughs> Let me see if I can help. I know how to fix it, but lack the means to do so. If you could just lift the wagon. What is this thing, eh? It looks like a giant bat. Oh, nothing. Just an idea I've been working on. I could not leave it behind. <sighs> what is it for? Well, I shouldn't really talk about it. Beh, al diavolo. I can't hold it in anymore. Ezio, I think I figured out how to make a man fly. <laughs> Come on, I'll drive. But I haven't even told you where I'm going. Classic Ezio and Leonardo. This is banter. Let's go, Leonardo. Venezia, such a beautiful city. So many sources of inspiration. Piazza San Marco, L'Arsenale. What's wrong? We're not alone. What's happening? Who are they? Rodrigo Borgia's men. Why? What do they want with us? I think they want us dead. Leonardo, hide! That wasn't Ezio's fucking voice just then when he said Leonardo hide. Fuck was that shit? They're trying to climb on board. Knock them off. I never noticed that before. That was not Ezio's fucking voice. That was like Ezio's old voice, like in the original fucking weird ass trailer, where he's got some fucking sh weird voice. Watch out! Don't let the carriage roll over. Shit, you know, carriage is gonna fall over and shit, boy. There you go. You're off. Smash you again. Oh, can't smash him against the wall. There you go. Can we? Can we? Can we? Can we? Can we? No, we can't smash him against the wall. What the fucking shit? There you go. You're off. Leonardo's just having a little chill in the back. He'll have a little sesh. He's chilling. Look, get off me, you little bastard, though. Let's try and not let the carriage take any damage. Oh, God. Flying into walls. This is not nice. There you go. Carriage carriage almost tipped over so many fucking times. Like, Jesus, look at that. That was fucking close to bloody tipping over there. Oh, no, there's a fire bridge. A little rough. 
It is going to be a little rough. There you go. Fire burning the carriage. That guy's horse is the only horse to ever die in Assassin's Creed. Is um that horse. No other horses die. Even the ones that get shot by Leon the fuck is this fire? Oh shit. Even the ones that get shot by Leonardo's fucking um machine gun. Even the ones that get shot with that, they don't die. That horse back there did though. It died. Do you want to get off my fucking carriage, mate? There you go. Let's just smash against the fucking wall. Oh, he no. There you go. He's going to get hit by the... There you go. Oh, shit. We should be done soon. This bit's almost over. And then we should be in La Bella Venezia. And it'll be beautiful. This bit goes on for a long fucking time. Get the fuck off of me, bitch. Can we not, like, smash against this wall to get him to fuck off? The carriage is, like, dying. We're dying. The arrows look weird. They're huge. They're really big arrows. I just noticed that, actually. God. We are almost there, Leonardo. There you go. Go, Leonardo. They are here for me, not you. And catch up with you later. Oh yeah, I see. I just jumped off that fucking carriage there. Come on then. Fight me, bitch. Actually, can we not just run to the objective? I'm pretty sure you can. It ends the mission. Maybe you can't. There you go. Yeah. They're all gone. They all disappeared. Now let's walk to Venice. Let's walk to Venice nicely. We can't. Is that the end of the sequence? No, it's not the end of the sequence. Not yet, anyway. We must be coming out of the Animus now. I think we might be. It's gotta be. It's gotta be now. Nope, not yet. Oh, wait, we still gotta do a bit in Forley. Oh, actually, let's go do that fucking Assassin Tomb. Well, Forley is... It's got bloom. It's blurry as fuck. The shit is going on with Forley? Like, I can't see there's so much bloom. And the, everyone knows how I feel about bloom in games. It makes me want to throw up. I want to die right now. Definitely looks better, though. The original Forley was very washed over. Let's go do that Assassin Tomb. Because then we can have the Forley one over and done with. And, uh... Who doesn't love a bit of assassin tombing anyway? It's great. It's so fun. Oh, fucking hell. My horse just fell over. What a dickhead. Well, we can get in through here anyway. Not too much of a problem at all. There you go. It is right there. Rocca di Rivaldino. Let's do this shit. Open that shit, Ezio, and walk in. Even though there's no... He just, walk, he just walked through a fucking brick wall. Like, his head went through it. How did his head go through a brick wall? No one knows. Doctor's hating for this secret. That water, man! Looks real nice. Looks real fucking nice. Oh, look. It's one of the ones that are completely dormant and there's no one here. There you go, now we're swimming in sewer water. Lovely. We smell of absolute fucking piss and shit now. There you go. Oh, we have to jump backwards. Oh, fucking shit, you know. I just skipped a massive chunk of that then. By a massive chunk, I mean like literally like two seconds of gameplay. 
Oh no, how are we going to get past this? You open the gate and you have five seconds to get under it. What's the point in that? I've never understood the point in that. At all. Oh shit. Am I just being an idiot or something? Or is there a genuine way we can go right now? Oh god, I've got to stop. Okay. Oh wait, under the fucking gate, of course. Of course, that's where we need to go. And let us go up. Look at his fucking shiny ass robes. When they're all wet and sloppery. Slippy robes. Oh god. Let's climb up a bit. And go there. This bit was ridiculous on PC. It just... It doesn't work because the camera angle was changed. So you have to be all fucking weird and shit. And Oh, it's horrible. I've failed it so many times. I don't even know how I did it on PC. I don't even know how the fuck I did it. Look, don't even ask how I did it, because I don't know. That does go up. There's a sweet lad there. Get to assassinate him. Because we are assassino. And we get to assassinate him. Hello, mate. You can go down there. And then we can go... Across here. And I don't care if you're a fucking bastardo. Look, it's okay. Just die. Just die. No, it's only these fucking guards. There you go. Yay! That combo. We all love that combo. Who doesn't love that combo? It's too good. Assassinate that guy with through a door. Assassino. Stab him through the leg and somehow that kills him. Look, it just works, alright. Shut the fuck up. Bye, lol. I will see you later. Let me climb on these fucking shields now. And there seems to be a mechanism of some some sort. Oh. We get to go round. Become an on there you go. Now I'm anonymous. I am anonymous. Anonymous. Let's go through do 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 Go on, let me activate that shit. Open. There you go. Lovely. Let's jump across. This bit always makes... Oh, wait, actually, we can just go across like that. It's just really satisfying. I've got no idea why. How he, like, climbs these bits. It's really satisfying. Go across and then down. Lovely. Love fucking Lee. Absolutely divine. Fucking divine. There's some more shields for us to climb there. Lovely. I love shields. Especially what climbable ones. There you go. There you go. Wait. Stay quiet, man. Don't scream. That's not a good thing to do. Where do we have to go? Down here. Fucking hell. I have never seen a stranger, mate. Oh, fucking hell. He just came and whacked me with his axe. Jesus Christ. What are you doing? This fucking guy's mental. Let's get our sword out. Come on, then. Yeah, fuck you, bitch. I'll just, you know, cut your legs a bit and you'll die. That's how it works. Then we climb around the fucking room, basically. We climb around the room. Doom. Doom. And there you go. We're basically finished with this tomb now. It's really fucking short. Either that or we've got one more part to do that I didn't anticipate. No, we are basically done with this tomb now. It's right up there. 
It's right up there, boy. Oh wait, shit. God damn it, we were, we were, I was really slow there. I thought we was gonna watch a little cutscene. Of some description there. It's okay, we've got time. There you go. Okay, this gives us 250 per per little dickhead, doesn't it? No, 300, we're going up in the world. Three fucking hundred, Jesus Christ. Calm down, Assassin's Creed 2. Calm the shitting hell down. 3,000. I mean, not 3,000, what the fuck am I about? 300, there you go, so we've got like... Good 1,000... No, not 1,000. Got a good 900 florins out of that. That's pretty shit, actually. That's pretty fucking shit, but we got a seal... And we've only got two more seals we need to get now. The last two in Venice. Let's go out the trap door. Seal of Qual Qualangan. Oh, I wish that was my fucking name. Jesus Christ, that looks a sick name. And we got a bunch of money from it too. Sweet. And an achievement. And an achievement for it. Well, would you look at that? That's That's just really nice, isn't it? That's just really nice. Look for white sheets to start your free run sequences. Oi, I'm gonna punch your head in. You go back in the back in the world of living in Foley. Now we get to get on with the main quest. Let's do that. That sounds like a great idea. Nice stone cobbles there. You know what Foley is actually looking pretty nice. I like I like the floor textures. There's a boat here that we can fuck in the ass. I'm stealing this shit out of the boat. This is my money now. It's my money. We have about 10,000 now. Now let's leave the city of Forley and go to the outskirts and then talk to Leonardo. And we can save Katarina from the impending doom that is the island that she somehow got stuck on. Look, no, how the fuck did she get stuck on that island? It doesn't make any sense. Oh, there's a Borgia Courier there. Come here. Give me your fucking money, faggot. Look, look, it's okay. It's okay. There was a chest back there, but this guy gives you more money. There you go, little dickhead. I won't kill you, faggot. There's a chest over here, which I'm gonna get. Oi, no, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Bye, lol. That guy was so mad. Jesus Christ. He was so genuinely very mad. Oh, sorry, man. Oh, sorry, man. You're dead now. There you go. That one's great. I'm going to say that every time we get that one now. Come on. Swing. Swing again. There you go. That's what I thought. Bitch. That's what I thought. I thought you were going to fucking die. I don't even know why I did this. I don't even need to do that. Is that a fucking codex page? That's a codex page, dickhead. Come on in. Look, if you want to get fucking combat over and done with, just use the hidden blades, alright? It gets things done quick, because they're a one-hit kill to anyone. Oh shit, but they're sometimes fucking difficult. Oh no. Oh god. There you go, that's the type of ones you want with these, because you have to tie them perfectly in Assassin's Creed 2. Come on. Oh fucking hell, he missed. He missed, what a fucking faggot. So sorry, man. You happen to be fucking dead, lol. Pick up this codex page for the for the road, you know? Pick it up for the road. And now we go to Leonardo. Leonardo! Oh my god, Leonardo. Do. Dum, dum, dum. That was a waste of my fucking time. Jesus Christ, that was a massive waste of time. 
Okay, the only my only criticism to the Ezio collection is that the greens seem way too vivid and kind of unrealistic. Like the gr the greens of the grass and shit, they're so fucking bright, it's ridiculous. Like especially ones in, in Florence. It's very green. Very, very Oh god, this guy wants to die. He was just fucking trying to kill himself. There's so many things that sidetrack me because I want extra fucking money because I'm a whore. There you go. Pretty sure there's like 12,000 in the villa's chest now. That means we'll have 24,000 overall. We could definitely finish upgrading the villa with that, I think. Look, Katarina somehow gets, gets stuck on one of these islands. And the only way she could have got there was either a gondola, which, if she had a gondola, she could use a gondola to get away, so she didn't have a gondola, or she swam there. And if she can swim there, she can fucking well swim back. I don't know how she got on one of those islands. It doesn't make any sense. But you know what, who fucking cares, because it's Assassin's Creed 2, and fuck you. Here. Here. Oh yes, Leonardo, I'm right, I'm right here, you can shut the fuck up now. I'm just gonna loot these goddamn boats, because we're almost on 13,000 now. Give me their money, oh we're on 13,000, and these ones give you so much money, and they give you 100. Well, well, that's, that's 75. Let's go to Leonardo now. Stop wasting our fucking time and energy. Leonardo! Thank you, Ezio. You saved my life. I did what had to be done. You would have done the same. I doubt it. Bravery is not my strong suit. I owe you a debt, brother. Di niente. Tutti a bordo! Fra poco si salpa! That's our traghetto. Venezia waits. Where's your pass? What pass? You don't have a pass? You cannot enter Venezia without a pass. Who invited you? Eh, uh, nobody. Basta! No pass, no entrance! Don't worry, Leonardo. I'll come up with something. Don't just stand there! I need help! Come on, she's like feet away from land. What the fuck is that? Katarina's thoughts are just happens to be on a fucking random island. Therefore, we can help her because we need that pussy and that money. She's like so close to land though. That's fucking bullshit. That's bullshit. Save the stranded Katarina Sforza. She's like really fucking weird looking in this game. Then she's like her whole fucking face changes in Brotherhood. Is she wearing different clothes in this game? Are they just... They're just bright. They're different colour. The ladies must like you. What the fuck? And she's actually ginger in this game as well. Looking to impress. Only to help someone in distress. That rhymes, Ezio. Exactly why you impress. And you are Messer... Auditore. But please, call me Ezio. I'm Caterina. Now, Ezio, we must find you suitable reward. Do you have any suggestions? There is perhaps something you could help me with. There you go. Signora, whatever you say, Signora. He won't trouble you anymore. I took care of you. Thank you, Caterina. Perhaps we'll see each other again. Should you ever find yourself in the city of Forli, it would be my pleasure to welcome you. I look forward to enjoying your hospitality. Please accept my most humble apologies, Messere. But had I known... <laughs> it's quite alright, my friend. Catherine looks weird as fuck in this game. She's just so odd looking. Alright, to Venice! To Venice, lads. Be careful, Ezio. Do you know who that was? My next conquest. <laughs> uh, I don't think so, Ezio. That's Caterina Sforza, daughter of the Duca di Milano. Her husband is... Husband? See, si, her husband is the Lord of Forli. That woman is as powerful and dangerous as she is young and beautiful. Sempre come una donna per me.
What a lovely scene that Ezio and Leonardo just shared. That's a really good scene, actually. I enjoy it a lot. It's a really great scene. Oh, out the animus action. Better than all right. You're making amazing progress. Amazing's quite a strong word. Then why are we stopping? Prolonged exposure to the animus can have, uh, side effects. <laughs> awesome. It's nothing to worry about. You haven't shown any of the symptoms. Symptoms? What symptoms? Degradation of cognition, temporal hallucinations, multiple awareness issues, overlapping realities, you know. So what you're saying is... What we're saying, Desmond, is if you're not careful, you may not need the Animus to visit with your ancestors. Which wouldn't be a bad thing, assuming you could control it. Up until now, though, no one has. Subject 16. We have safeguards, Desmond. And they kept him in the Animus for way too long, sometimes days at a time. We're being careful with you. I hope so. Anyway, I was hoping we could test out your skill retention. See if you've picked up some of Ezio's abilities. I'm game. Great. Meet me downstairs when you're ready. Well, I'd love to meet her downstairs when I'm ready, but... I'm gonna have to go ahead and end this episode here, because we've been going quite a lot, and we are in... Italy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Assassin's Creed the Ezio Collection at Assassin's Creed 2. Let me know what you think in the comment section below and also like and subscribe for more Assassin's Creed content in the future and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!